this always happens, this always happens. Hello everybody and welcome to Halloween week video number four. Yes, we are on number four and this one is going to be a witch. Now I know a witch is a super, super common thing and I know like everybody since the dawn of time has decided to do witch makeup because it's all black, sometimes a mask, but always, always, always the hat. For this look and for this video, I was also inspired buy a hat. Specifically this giant hat that I found at Christmas tree shop that just is so huge that I don't think it can even get into the full frame. She's a big one, but she was really fabulous. And I was thinking about this and I was like, you know what? I think that she would be like a really fabulous, like really, really rich witch. But even though she's really fabulous and really rich and she has all these powers, she's sad. But since she's a witch and she's like kind of sophisticated and kind of different when she cries she doesn't cry normally like humans her cries are glitter and her cries are gems falling down her face and then when she uses to wipe those tears is not a normal kleenex like we would but a hundred dollar bell basically just trying to give a twist on something that's done basically all the time so I hope you guys enjoy. So for this one, we're actually going to start with the brows. I never start with the brows, but we will this time. I'm gonna show you guys, we want the brows to be super, super arched. Kind of like how my eyebrows are right now. I'm gonna show you what I did to get this. So what we're gonna do is first map out where you want your brow to be. Map out the bottom and the top using your brow pencil. And then just spoolie it so it looks, you know, all good and whatnot. Afterwards, we're gonna take some lash glue and I'm going to take lash glue and I'm going to put it at the bottom of my brow. So this is where I made the line. And then I'm gonna use the back of a brush to flatten them down so they stay nice and flat. And once they are flattened, I'm going to go over them with concealer because I want to really, really get a defined arch there. So look at the difference between the defined arch and then the normal brow, it's huge. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Brow Blade. You can take whatever brow pen that you have. This one has really nice pen strokes that you can make and it works really nicely to get that done. So there's both of the brows done. I'm just going to go over them with some concealer to make it look all nice and neat. And then we're going to move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to prep with MAC Painterly Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, just using my finger all over the lid. And then we're gonna use this beautiful shade from Dose of Colors. This is called Night Sky and it's uh, their block party shadow. Really easy, just use your fingers. Don't be worried by how messy it is because you're gonna clean it up with a makeup wipe afterward. And then I'm going to go in with some gel liner or well, this is cream liner. And I'm just going to map out kind of a medium sized wing. Again, if you feel like you've messed up, just take a Kleenex and clean it up. I'm going to curl my lashes, add some mascara, and then I'm going to add some falsies. So I love using wispies. Here's a trick, use your mirror and stare at the bottom, like really have the mirror position underneath your eyes so you can put the lashes on clearly. And then I'm going to take some gray eyeshadow and use a fluffy brush to clean up the top and blend out the top because it's, it was a little messy beforehand. Remember, you want it to be smoky and deep and dark, so nothing too precise. We're going to move on to the base. All about that base. And I'm going to start by priming my skin using Tatcha Silk Canvas all over. And then I'm going to use MAC Strobe Cream to really get some nice luminosity to the skin because I want it to be very editorial and very, very dewy. I want it to be very dewy. So I'm going to use Pat McGrath and I'm going to use a facial oil from Exuvian. I'm going to mix the two and apply it on my face using my fingers. You can use any liquid foundation that you want to, uh, that you have, you don't have to use Pat McGrath. I just, I'm using it because I have it and I do like it. And then use your fingers, use your hands. That's honestly the best blend with this foundation. Finish it up with a sponge. I like to run a sponge over because I feel like it just helps to blend it in even more.
Then I'm going to take Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now this is something I do recommend. Even though it's not necessarily the most affordable product, it just is so, so, so beautiful on the skin, especially if you have dry skin. It's just gorgeous. It just gives you that luminosity like nothing else. I wear it just by itself and it just looks gorgeous on the skin. I believe it's $45, so it's not crazy. Next, I'm gonna use a brightening concealer. So again, you can use any liquid concealer that you have. I'm using the YSL Touche Eclat, but literally any liquid concealer that works for you that's just a little bit lighter than your foundation shade. And then I'm actually gonna use a brush and then a little bit of my fingers to make sure that that's all patted and blended in. Then I'm going to take a little bit of powder and I'm really going to put it in key areas. So underneath the eyes is a big one for me, on the forehead and the sides of the face because I know I'm going to wear hair extensions with this so my sides of the hair will be touching. So you want to make sure that's all good. All right, moving on to complexion, I'm going to take a very cool toned blush. This is Makeup Forever in cool pink, I believe. It's a cream blush, so again, it's gonna look really nice with the skin, especially if you have dry skin, it's beautiful for you. And then I'm going to take the NYX Pro Sculpting Powder. This one is in Sienna, and I'm just going to use it to contour my face. And I'm going to do a pretty deep contour because I want her to be pretty sculpted. Make sure that you take it under the chin if you want to, you know, make that part look a little bit slimmer and then really give that crazy look in the mirror to make sure everything's all blended before you continue on to the forehead. I'm also going to run it underneath the lips and on the sides of the nose as well. This is going to help really just bring shape to your face. And I'm going to set everything using the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And then after you use a facial spray, make sure that you use a sponge all over. For the bottom of the eyes, I'm gonna use this really bright blue from the ColourPop Blue Moon Palette, and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line because I love, I love a bright lower lash line. And this is just, I love the way that this just makes the eyes pop. And then moving on to glow, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Chroma Luxe Highlight Cream and I'm going to use it pretty much under the eyes all over so it looks like I'm crying tears. If you want a more affordable version, the Makeup Revolution Putty Highlight is really, really good as well. And then I'm just using it all over under the eyes, the nose and everywhere else. Then I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and I'm going to take the blue shade that's in there and I'm going to run it in the middle of the eye. So now you see that this really helps to transform the eye look from a darker green to like a lighter. You can see the difference between the two right over here. So I'm going to continue to add that into the second eye as well. And then I'm going to add that all over as a highlight as well. So on the nose, going straight up, Then onto lips, I'm going to use this super, super deep dark color. So now if you have a black, this is a perfect time to use a black. This one is a black and purple, which also worked for this look. And I'm gonna take some gems and I'm going to apply the gems underneath the eyes so they kind of look like tears coming down. And once the gems are all placed, you're done with the look. All right, and then that was look and video number four. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and leave me a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.
oh my god, dinner Halloween week to show you. I forgot. Hold on. Four. Wait, no, that's not right either. It's a beauty, um, um, bleh, a 